Hello everyone, welcome to Redbus TS channel. In this video, we'll look at the latest news regarding uh, Dropbox stamping, you know, where all you can drop off documents. So there was an update by US Travel Docs last week, late last week, that is effective from today. So we'll cover that and uh, we'll look at the specifics, including user experience. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe for getting regular updates. So this is what we'll cover in today's video. Uh, we'll look at what the actual changes. Uh, we'll look at uh, where all you can submit uh, free versus paid locations and how some of the changes have happened in terms of uh, you know messaging messages in the in the you know when you do the questionnaire and also we have a user experience from actually today right uh, April fourth uh, who also confirmed this so we'll also look look at some common FAQs. So what is the official news, right? So if you look at uh, the actual news, so this is the screenshot of uh, official news from US Travel Docs India website. Again, this is uh, very specific to India uh, at the moment, right? And uh, you know, if you open up the US Travel Docs India website, uh, there'll be like a pop-up that comes up. Uh, you know, if you know, once you select the non-immigrant visa, and it's a very very short message, right? So this is the exact uh, message. So we'll read through that and look at the specifics. Uh, in terms of the message, right, so all it says is effective from April 1st, applicants can submit their interview waiver applications free of cost at any of the visa application centers, which is nothing but VAC centers or OFC centers, whatever you call them, right, where the embassy or consulate is located. And if the applicants wish to submit any other location, a nominal fee of 650 per passport will be charged, uh, you know, at cash, you know, at the time of submission. I mean, it kind of looks very, very simple, but there are so many questions that I've seen in our in our group, right? I mean, like people are confused. What is this? You know, can I travel from X place to another place? Uh, you know, all these sorts of confusions, right? So we'll look at that in a little more detail. So uh, all it means is that, right? Now, if you qualify for interview waiver or Dropbox submission, uh, you then, uh, do not have, you know, you can drop off your documents uh, at any of the 11 locations across India. And these 11 locations include the consulates, uh, the embassy, and also the, uh, you know, CJ federal uh, locations, right? So now all they're trying to tell is with this message, if you have an interview or appointment, now you don't have to go to the specific one that you have it in the past, right? You can go to anywhere in this across this 11 and you can drop off the documents. So we look at the fees, uh, you know, on all of that. But I guess, you know, that that's the key message, right? And now if you look at how it works, so just to give you an example, right? In the past, uh, what used to happen is, um, let's say you select a location like New Delhi, uh, you could only drop off documents at New Delhi, VSC Center, or Chandigarh, or Jalandhar Center. And you know, this is the kind of list, right, if, as you can see on the screen, uh, you know, the, where all each locations were tied to. If it's Hyderabad, you could only submit at Hyderabad. If you're Kolkata, only Kolkata. Or if it's Mumbai, you could only submit, uh, submit at Mumbai, Pune, or Ahmedabad, right? So there were really like restrictions on uh, where you could drop off these documents. I think that was the fundamental restriction. You could not go from uh, you know, if you had an appointment uh, at, uh, you know, like for New Delhi, you couldn't go to Kolkata. You know, that was a challenge in the past. So uh, imagine you couldn't get a slot, you would probably book it another location, then you really had to fly there or drive down there to drop these documents. So this was a big hassle uh, for many of the users. And this is where the new rule has come in and where have they removed this restriction. Now, as per the new rule, what it looks like is, uh, you know, the restriction of that location tied to US consulate is not there anymore. It means that if you have, uh, you know, like, you know, uh, an appointment, you could drop at any locations. And to be more precise, right? Uh, let's say you have an appointment at Delhi Embassy. Now you can drop it off at any of the locations, like it could be Mumbai, Chennai, or Pune, or Kochi, right? So the only difference is, uh, you know, you need to pay that uh, 650 rupees uh, if you're going to drop off in a non-embassy or a non-consulate location. So that's the only difference, right? I mean, it's kind of clear, but again, it's, just still confusing for many, many, many are not able to believe this. That's why we're kind of doing a video to articulate uh, what it exactly means. Now, where can you submit, right? So this is exactly the list of locations. So if you look here, the Hyderabad, New Delhi, Chennai, Mumbai, Kolkata. So which are nothing but the consular locations uh, and also New Delhi is an embassy. So if you drop off your documents at all of these, uh, you know, uh, five locations, there is no, uh, you know, nothing you need to pay. It's free, right? For dropping off or picking up both of them, right? But if you drop off in another location, uh, which is Pune or Kochi, Bengaluru, or Ahmedabad, Jalandhar, Chandigarh, right? So all of these, are where you need to pay 650 rupees per individual. And what that means is, uh, you know, basically these are locations that are not managed by the consulate directly. They are actually CDA, CG, CGA federal locations. And that's why they are doing an additional convenience fee. And they want to make sure, you know, like basically uh, transport or whatever, right, logistics they want to take it. That's why they're charging a very nominal fee of 650 rupees. And definitely cheaper than, you know, going from uh, uh, one of those locations to another location. So uh, so this is the fundamental change. The, and also what has happened
happened is after this change has happened, uh, there is a big change in the confirmation letter. So we'll do a comparison, but this is how the new confirmation letter looks like. Uh, if you exclude the first two pages, right? This is on the page three or sometimes page two. Uh, it clearly tells that if you get an appointment, uh, you know, you could drop at below locations only, right? And it clearly tells exactly whatever we just showed now, uh, where is free and where is paid and you know how it works, right? Now, in order, just if we compare this uh, latest letter with the old one, uh, you can see, right, it clearly used to say in the past, right? I mean, you can see on the left-hand side, uh, it's a confirmation letter before April 4th, where it used to say appointment date at below address only and we had a clear address where they need to drop off. But now, uh, it now it actually has a different message in the, the same letter. Now, if you print after, you know, like now, you would get something says appointment date at below locations only change that so you can see the list of locations as well so you can see that they have actually tried to uh, you know do the change as well when you generate the letter um, so you know that that's one thing right now if you don't have if you have an old letter all you need to do is go into the into consular system and generate the new letter that way you know you have this updated one it's pretty straightforward you can just go in and do that yeah so that way you have the updated letter now this is just comparison of one aspect of the OFC confirmation letter or you know like the uh, you know VAC confirmation letter now also the second thing that changed is the uh, confirmation message after you do the Dropbox uh, you know like you know uh, you know generally when you try to book an appointment right you need to go you need to go through a set of steps where you you know answer certain questions and at the end they will say congratulations you qualified for an interview waiver. So the, the big difference here is in the past uh, before today right or before la end of last week uh, you had these locations for submission in the confirmation message telling where you could drop off with this message. Now, if you do the same thing on, you know, you don't have that message anymore that is taken out. You know, you don't have the location submission restriction uh, that uh, message is taken out. So you can see that they've actually really reflected, uh, you know, the change all over the all over uh, the places. Right. Now, in terms of also one of our users was kind enough to reach out to the consulate or the US travel docs and they've actually reached out to them. And uh, so the kind of response they gave is very clear. See, right? Uh, applicants may use any of the 11 drop off locations to submit interviewer. And again, explaining the same thing. So we have this in our article. You can read that in detail. Uh, but the idea is it's the same. You know, it's been confirmed by the uh, customer service as well. So if you're in doubt, you know, you know, believe it, it's, it's all over the place and it's correct. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also to validate this, we had a user today who actually uh, did this uh, who's, uh, who was successful uh, in dropping the look, uh, dropping the documents so if you read this this is from our uh, telegram group right uh, one of our largest telegram groups we have over 100,000 people in this uh, so it had a Dropbox appointment uh, you know for you know the user had this for at Hyderabad VAC but he was success he was able to drop it off at Mumbai again he had a because it's a day one uh, the security guard looked at the letter and is like no, okay he's confused why is this guy here then again uh, he told about the loo rule and he basically talked to the security guard and it was sorted out so I guess this is day one that's why even there was a small glitch but again uh, you know he was able he also checked with the lady say telling that you know uh, basically that the passport will be processed in Hyderabad but not in Mumbai so that way all they're trying to tell is it's just collection that's happening in in these locations but end of the day the consulate that you picked is the one that will be processing your visa and that is where you would be doing your visa stamping as well if at all they call you for visa interview so this came out uh, you know so this kind of uh, a real user experience that we were able to get uh, thanks to the user for sharing the experience uh, so definitely we'll see more of that but again it's, it's something that confirms all the messaging and all the issues uh, you know with, without any issues right so so a couple of FAQs, right? Uh, if you have an appointment, Kolkata, can I drop at Hyderabad? I mean, it's obvious, but people kill, still keep asking me, can I confirm? So that's why I'm again putting it out there. It doesn't matter what location you have, you can drop off at any location. So that's a simple message. Now, uh, if you say, okay, I might, uh, my letter is says, you know, uh, specific location, what should I do? I go to US Travel Docs and regenerate the Dropbox appointment confirmation letter. You will have the new letter and it has everything. So don't worry about it. Just generate it to be safe and then, uh, you know, uh, go with the new letter, you'll be fine. Uh, again, we we don't have anybody who have reported issues with this but just to be safe just go there and uh, generate that right so the last one uh, you know like does it uh, you know now that uh, you know if you drop it off another location will I get any advantage the outcome is going to be different no 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 definitely not right? there's a logistics issue it will still be processed the same consulate so don't expect anything to happen there uh, so definitely this is this is the you know this is a myth right so don't be like you know oh now okay create theories that okay if I drop it off here I'm going to get better um, so overall folks uh, it's a long video sorry for the long video but I guess uh, it's time to clarify all of these right thank you for taking the time to watch it really appreciate your time if you haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe for getting regular updates and i uh, will keep you posted thank you bye bye